Hello crafty friends, my name is Alicia but you can call me Crafty Owl and it is time for the monthly show us your sheet load video. I hope you'll stick around and see all of the cards that came in my P.O. box this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I'd like to stop by and share a look at what came in my P.O. box for the month. Sometimes these are sheet load cards, and sometimes these are cards just because. Now, if you're ever interested in sending me a card, my P.O. box is always at the bottom of the description box. Now, if you're going to send me a sheet load card to show us your sheet load, you have three ways to do that. You can send a card in for this end of the month video. You can make a video here on YouTube or a post over on Instagram, just make sure to use the hashtags for each of the monthly printables. I do have a video in that description box that gives all of the details on how you can show us your sheet load. I always love to see what you're creating and I think my viewers do too. Let's go ahead and see what came in this month's envelopes. Up first is a card from Patio of Canada. This was actually a card for a swap that I was in. The theme was gnomes. Unfortunately, mine hasn't made it to her yet. There must be something between us and Canada lately. Um, but as soon as mine does make it to her, I will be sharing a video here. I love that when she made this card for me, she knew I loved craft and rainbows. So that was extra special. Jane M. from Ohio sent in three cards this month. On the left is her switching up the January 2023 mini slimline to be an A2, and the two on the right use a February 2023. I just love that detail cut butterfly. My mom, who is Gloria J. from Iowa, surprised me with an extra valentine in my P.O. box. She said after she made it, she didn't know who to send it to, so she thought she'd surprise me. Just look at what happens when you open the card up. That is so awesome. Cat F. from Arizona sent me this super cute valentine with a gnome using the current sheet load of cards. I love that little image and she said she's been watching or she's been a subscriber for a couple years and she's finally made a set of sheet load. So awesome, Cat. Up next is a birthday card from Ellie H. of North Carolina that uses a February 2023 sheet load of cards. Not only is it special because it is totally cute, but Ellie is the first that I know of junior crafter who is sent in a card for the end of the month. She sent me this great note along with the card, told me some more about her. One of the fun things is she, at 15, teaches classes at her local craft store and her and her friend are in the process of starting their own business and want to teach virtual and in-person card classes around the U.S. How awesome is that? Um, they are going to name their company or they have a hen and a chick card making classes. Thank you so much Ellie and good luck. Kathy from New Hampshire used the January 2023 sheet load of cards for this cute Galentine's Day card. Kathy, my daughter and I have to know what kind of animal is this on the front? We are both saying different things and we need you to break that tie. I think it's a hedgehog. She thinks it's a porcupine, um, but thank you for the card either way. Marilyn M. of Michigan, wow that is a lot of M's, sent me a card that turns into a gift that I can use all year round. She has decorated this slimline size with a tear-off calendar and a cute little card that reads every day is a good day to make a card. I definitely agree with that Marilyn. You can see here how it stands up kind of a little table tent. This will be awesome to have on my table, thank you. 
Up next is a thank you card from my friend Karen C. of Virginia. You can find her here on YouTube at Karen's Crafting Company, and you've probably also met her during some of my oh so inspired lives. And thank you for your thank you, Karen. Annette G. of Utah used a January 2023 sheet load of card to make this fun Valentine. It might be hard to see on screen, but that heart keyhole is full of pink glitter and the key itself is a metallic gold. Love it. Karen W., a neighbor here in Nebraska, sent in two cards this month. On the left is a card using January 2022, and on the right is another cute gnome valentine using February 2023. It is a month full of gnomes, and I am loving it. Iona S. from Washington sent in two cards, both containing cute little gnomes. She has used December 2022 on the left and February 2023 on the right. Heather W. from Florida used the January 2022 sheet load and gave it a little rotation for this Valentine's Day card. I love the subtle colors on this and the heart focal point. Now, fun fact, Heather recently started a YouTube channel, so why don't you stop by, check out her video she has so far, and go ahead and subscribe. I will have it linked in that description box below. Jessica N. of Florida was on vacation in Hawaii when the February 2023 sheet load came out, so she sent me two beautiful examples and a postcard from Hawaii. I love the touches of gold foiling on all three cards, and this postcard is definitely going up on my postcard wall. I have to know, Jessica, did you make the cards on vacation or when you got back? Lori K. from Minnesota sent me four cards this month. The cute one with the owl on the left just had a nice note inside. The one there with the little girl uses January 2022, and the other two are the new February 2023. Thank you so much for the lovely cards and the nice note. I hope your husband's recovery is going well. Yvonne K. from Wisconsin was busy this month getting caught up. From left to right, she has used December 2022, January 2023, and February 2023. I love the variety, and she says she has already gotten a start on a set using my exclusive sheet load of cards that I shared over the weekend at the Card Maker Success Summit. If you attended the summit and got that sheet load of cards, leave me a comment below. Once again, Joan O from Denmark has blessed me with a full sheet load of cards and a cute little card with a nice note inside. I love the nautical feel of these cards and those matching envelopes. Wow, do you love the monthly show us your sheet load feature as much as I do? If so, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave your love for everybody's cards in that comment section below. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who took the time to send me a card and especially for those notes. I just love hearing from each of you and seeing your creations. Until my next video, which is tomorrow, it will be the brand new sheet load of cards. I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.